Happy New Year, friends, and welcome to Moon Medicine Yoga. It's me, Allison. It's so good to have you back. Today, we honor January's full wolf moon with a 25-minute slow flow yoga practice. The full wolf moon is an invitation to remember wolf teachings. Wolf often symbolizes humility, a reminder that we're part of something greater than ourselves. Central to wolf is the family pack. To ensure survival, the pack must live as one, with each wolf serving a different role, imparting strength to the group's well-being. It's the new year, a popular time for resolutions and the sense that we need to change ourselves. As we set our intentions, let us remember who we truly are and celebrate our differences. Perhaps you're a healer, a planner, a great cook, or a storyteller. This is our medicine. In honor of Wolf, may we see our natural strengths and talents and how they nourish our communities. Once again, welcome. If you're new here, subscribe for more yoga aligned with the moon and the seasons. Be sure to like this video and to say hello in the comments too. I love hearing from you and your support means so much to me and the channel. Let's begin in a comfortable seat. Bring the hands to heart center and bow your head. Perhaps sensing the breath moving over the fingertips. To arrive, let's take a big deep breath in. and out, feeling the weight of your body pressing down and the earth rising up to meet you. Start to deepen your breath. This full moon is in Cancer, which rules the chest and the stomach. So today's class will include some heart openers and twists. To begin, let's inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. As you exhale, T-twist to the right, reaching your left arm forward, your right arm back. Inhale back to center, reaching up. Exhale, T-twist left, reaching the arms wide. Now move with your breath. Inhaling as you reach high and exhaling into the twist, extending the arms long and strong out of the shoulders. Your next inhale, reach up and pause. Exhaling, hands to mat for tabletop. Preparing for reverse cat-cow. On the inhale, round the spine, tucking chin to chest. Exhale out the mouth as you cow belly. <sighs> Looking forward. Inhale, rounding the spine. Exhaling out the mouth as you drop the belly and open the heart. Find your rhythm here, your pace. On your next inhale, round the spine, hold. 
option for this cow belly to howl at the moon with your exhale. <laughs> On your next breath out, downward facing dog. Just having a little fun with it. Soften your knees. Come back to your breath. Make sure your feet are about hip distance. As you inhale, lift your heels nice and high, and then pivoting on the toes, drop your heels over to the right. So now the feet are more or less in a straight line, heel toe, heel toe. Level out your shoulders and breathe into the stretch. As you inhale, pivot the heels back to center, nice and high. Exhale, drop them over to the left. As you inhale, come back to center, heels nice and high. Exhale, downward dog, relaxing your heels towards the mat. And then looking forward, coming back into tabletop. Exhale to child's pose. Resting your head on the mat or on your hands. If you haven't yet, extend the arms forward, lifting to your fingertips. As you exhale, walk the hands over to the right, just enough to feel a stretch down your left side. Inhale, lifting your head, walking the hands left. Stay nice and active in the arms. As you exhale, settle in, feel the stretch. Inhale, back to center, pause. And then inhaling through tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. When you're ready, bend the knees, look forward, walk or step up to your hands, coming to the top of the mat. Inhaling, lift halfway. And just like the wolves do, exhale, bow the head, shaking tension out of your neck. Inhale again, lift halfway. Exhale, bowing down, shaking out the tension. Final time, inhale, lift. Exhale, bow, a real good shake of the tension out of the head and neck. Inhale, rise to standing. Exhale, hands to heart center, just to be still. Exhale, mountain pose, arms to your sides, palms shining forward. And gazing down at your feet, heel toe them a little closer together. And as you inhale, reach the arms up and float the left knee into your chest, flexing the foot. As you exhale, sweep the arms behind you and step the left foot back and off to the right side in a curtsy lunge. Inhale the knee up and in to your chest. Exhale, cross the leg back and down. A few more. 
Inhale, slowly bring the knee up to the chest, reach up. Exhale, reach back, step back. One more time, knee to chest. So cross that foot back, hold. And then bring your hands to heart center. Now doing your best here, hop the back foot in a bit closer so the left knee is tucked behind the right. So you exhale, prayer twist to the right, hooking your elbow to the outside of your knee. A little fun variation of twisted chair. Gazing to the sky or to the horizon. As you inhale, look down, bring your hands to the mat. Step your left foot all the way back, dropping the knee on, tuck the toes. As you inhale, arms to the sky. Bring in your palms together, bend the elbows, bring in the thumbs to the back of your neck so your elbows point up to the sky. Lift your heart and look up. Knit the belly in strong. Exhale, hands to mat, lifting your back knee. Down dog split, send your right leg all the way up and back. Bend the knee and fan the hip open. You can stay here or flip your dog. On the exhale, we'll meet in downward facing dog once again to stay or if you like to flush through the vinyasa, you can exhale to chaturanga. Inhale to Upward Facing Dog. Exhale to Downward Facing Dog. Exhaling, bend the knees, look forward. Walk or step up to the hands. Inhale, hands to shins as you lift halfway. Exhale, bowing down. Inhale, rise to standing, reach up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Again, just to pause in stillness. Releasing arms by your sides for mountain pose, heel toe the feet a bit closer. And inhale, right knee floats into the chest as you reach up. Exhale, curtsy lunge back, sweeping your arms back by your sides. Inhale, right knee up and in. Exhale, sweep the arms back, stepping back. Move at your pace. And again, that foot might come all the way off the side of your mat. Move slowly, steady the eyes. The next time you lunge back, pause and bring your hands to heart center. Step your back foot in a little closer so the right knee tucks behind the left. As you exhale, prayer twist, hooking your elbow to the outside of your left knee. Gazing forward to the sky, last breath. As you inhale, unwind, lift your right leg back, and then stepping back, drop the back knee, untuck the toes. Inhale the arms to the sky, Anjaneya Asana. Palms together, bend the elbows, bringing the thumbs to the back of your neck. 
creating a nice supported lift for your heart as you hug the navel inward. On your breath out, hands to the mat for three-legged dog. Sweep your leg all the way back and up. Bending the knee, fan the hip open. Option to flip your dog. And we'll all meet in downward facing to stay, or if it's in your practice or you're in the mood to flush through the vinyasa, feel free. From down dog, let's drop the knees, exhaling into child's pose, enjoying a moment of rest, wrapping the arms back by your sides. On your inhale, rise up to tabletop. Getting ready for wolf puppy stretch. Keep your hips over the knees and walk your hands forward, allowing your heart to melt down to the mat. You can rest your forehead on the earth or your chin if you'd like a little more sensation. Now you can stay right here or for a deeper variation, bring your hands a bit closer together. Then bring in your palms together, bend the elbows, pointing your fingers to the sky. You can walk the elbows a bit closer here. Keep breathing. If you have the prayer variation, release hands to the mat. And then with the inhale, we'll all pull the chest forward, bringing the belly to the mat. Sphinx pose, just for a moment. From here, bend the elbows. You can rest your chin on your palms for crocodile pose. Let the fingertips rest on your cheeks. You can keep the legs straight like this or create a bit of a hip opener by bringing the feet as wide as the mat and turning the toes outward.
And then bringing the feet back in toward each other. We'll just stack the forearms, resting the head down, releasing full cleansing breath in through the nose and out of the mouth. Bringing the hands under the shoulders. You can inhale to cobra or upward facing dog. On the exhale, downward facing dog. From here, we'll come to lie on the back. You can jump forward to a seat and roll back or just drop the knees. And then once here, bend the knees, bring the feet to the floor, and then roll onto your right side in the fetal position or sleeping wolf pose. Knees are bent and stacked. And then extend the arms forward, one on top of the other. Your left hand should be on top here. As you inhale, sweep the left arm overhead, opening your chest into a twist. Right hand to your top thigh to support the legs. Nice cleansing breath in and out as you anchor the shoulder blades to the mat. And then right arm releases as you inhale roll onto your back opening your knees wide feet together supta baddha konasana soften the arms overhead creating a beautiful full moon shape just watch the rise and fall of the breath in the belly And when you're ready, rolling onto your left side in the fetal position or sleeping wolf. Knees are bent and stacked. And when you're ready, extending the arms forward in line with your shoulder. Put the right arm on top. As you inhale, sweep, circle the right arm overhead, opening your chest into the twist. Left hand grabs the top thigh. Take a nice cleansing breath to settle in. you inhale, open your arms to a T, bringing your knees to center, and then opening the knees wide with the soles together. Supta Baddha Konasana. 
You can keep the arms wide or again with elbows soft, bring the arms overhead, creating that lovely full moon shape with your arms. On your exhale, hug the knees into your chest, holding onto your shins. And then releasing the legs nice and long for Shavasana. You can take traditional Shavasana or whatever shape feels restful and comfortable. a deep breath in through the nose filling all the way up then opening the mouth to let it all go feel the body get nice and heavy and take your rest can stay in Shavasana for as long as you like, but if you're ready to transition back, bend the knees one at a time, bringing the feet to the floor, and slowly roll to your favorite side, pausing in the fetal position, and then very gently press yourself up to a seat, and we'll meet with the hands at heart center. Thank you so much for being here today and for honoring the full wolf moon with me. Let's bring the thumbs to the third eye and to seal our practice, we'll bow to honor each other. Before you go, make sure you're subscribed. Please like the video and leave a comment below. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Also, donation links are in the description if you'd like to make a small offering or donation for class. Have a very happy start to your new year. I will see you again soon on the mat and under the moon. Bye, friends.